and what this equipment is for. The wrench, the string, the coat hanger with this hook, some paper with trigonometry, a climbing harness, a sighting scope, and two, three sections of 550 cord, compulsory duct tape, and a sextant and pair of binoculars. And Lucas is uh, tying a string. We're going to be stringing something up there about 30, 40 feet. I don't know yet. Let's see. This is on the end of the 550 cord, this wrench. And it's going to hang right here. And there's a purpose for the way I've got this hung. Lucas is holding the rope, simulating the branch of the tree. Then I'm going to reach over. And then I'm going to pull on the wrench. And then it drops. And that will be our counterweight. Foot pole. It's going to be extended. And that is going to go up and over that branch. And we pull on it. And then the weight then releases, ideally. And then we've got the cord for hanging up the antenna higher. Yeah, yeah, you, you got it, you got it, you got it. So you know, act. The string isn't loose because can you loosen it? Ah. See, it won't clear that branch. So I've got to cut it. Now, if you look, it's going around the top of that tree. Give it some height. And this one now is going way up to our objective where the wrench was. So now I'm pulling that one up. Okay, I'm going to start with the very beginning of the antenna at the short end. It's held down by camouflage. 550 cord going up into this tree. Then there's a wire right up there, kind of hard to see. Then comes across to the ballon, which, okay, there's the ballon zooming back, then one wire, then goes the long element, 91 feet. You won't be able to see it here. It's so stealthy, I have to point it out to my friends. It's somewhere coming across here. I don't know, maybe the focus isn't working on it. I'd be surprised if it did. Then, what we did here with the wrench and the 550 cord was get a section up on that V way up there. So that's the section of V we got it on. I don't know if you can see the cord there or not. Then that comes out to the bend in the antenna which is somewhere around here. Then that wire comes across, the remainder of that long element. The bend is more than 10%, but this is the best I could do. That's the neighbor's yard over there, so I'm bordering that yard, and here's the very end of it. I think we'll be able to see it. So there's the opposite end of the long element, which is going way up to there. 30 feet up that way. We'll see what the calculations come out to be. And also about 30 feet up there. It was more like an inverted V before. And that section over there is inverted slightly. Not perfect, but uh, been able to get to Australia from Maryland, which isn't too bad. Then the remainder of this is tied up in these trees back here. So do the sight again. Distance to that tree. How many yards? 22 yards uh, and the distance to that tree. Base of the tree. 10? 10. So we've got 22 yards uh, from the spot where you're standing over to that tree. And then we're going to get an angle now. So he's swinging it. And he's pretty close. He's pretty close. I know the angle. At least, I, at least what I got. So he's moving half of it. From the base up to the ballon. Wait, let me see if I can find way it. Over oh. There. So there's the ballon. I'm zooming back. That's the no, balance yeah. unbalance. And that has some amount of feet above the ground. I think it's about 30 feet, but he's going to tell us for sure. Because he's going to match the lower half. Okay. We got this angle with the sextant. We figured out the adjacent with the golf cider. All you have to find out now is the height of the tree from the base to the ballon. So we take the toa of Soka Toa. The tangent of 27 is 0 0.51, and that times 22 is. You don't have to multiply. It's 11 yards. Yeah, it's half. So 33 feet is the opposite, and that's how tall the ballon is. Great. Thanks.